Hello, my name is Cashman, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are back on Stardew Valley, and yeah, um, <laughs> so last episode, I was talking about how farming is love, farming is life, and a friend of mine commented on how that sounded like communist, co communism, so I guess I'm communist now. <laughs> not really, I'm not. Don't, don't listen to me, I'm, I'm lying, that's not true. So that fun thing, I actually tried recording this a couple minutes ago, but what I was recording it on was like, well, actually, you're skipping all of your frames, so your thing is just, you know, it's frozen, just like the time that you're streaming the other day. So I'm like, okay, I guess I will switch back to old OBS and hope that works. So far it is. <laughs> so, yeah, we just need to water my crops because these boys make me money. And I don't want to miss them because that is dumb. <laughs> Would I? Let me just pet. I don't know what I should do this episode. So let's, you know, just go into town and say hello to everybody. See what's popping off, what's going on. You know, I noticed that my gaming videos, like basically my not Minecraft videos, bring me 10 iron ore to add to the local minerals. Ooh. I guess I'm going mining today because I have not gotten iron yet and iron would be nice. I actually haven't even gotten copper tools yet. Huh. I'm on our way back. I need to see whose birthday it is because you always have to give people birthday presents. You can't just not give a birthday present to somebody. So bring, do I not have any daffodils? Not cool. I'll do rice shoot. Interesting. Um, I don't think I need that rice shoot, but I'm going to check what the TV has to say real quick. Neutral, all right. Weather report, tomorrow is not any good and telling me that rain is good. Yeah, I noticed, I noticed, but you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't rain. It's Pam. Pam, are you in your house? Pam, where are you? I'm too lazy to look up your schedule today. All right, good. Happy birthday. Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks, this is nice. Excellent, very excellent. You will like, the villagers will like me as a person. I wanna go this way, cause I want the daffodils up there. There's two of them. I'll make a wonderful, nice return on my, my oh, there's three. Oh, that one's a gold star. I got a gold star, guys. That's what I've always wanted. That's actually kind of more annoying though, because now I have two daffodils that are extra special. So I need to save those for the extra special people. People that I need to look like, people that I'm looking to really make friends with. Speaking of which, Linus. Actually, you know what, Linus, you get the golden daffodil. You get the all powerful, all knowing golden daffodil. You're not even here. I'm disappointed. I wanted to give you the all-powerful golden daffodil. And what are you doing? You refuse to accept. You refuse to accept my offer of just the holy daffodil. And now, oh wait, no, you're here. Okay, never mind. There you go. Duh. I don't want to give Linus more gifts. Linus deserves all the gifts. Like, you think you deserve a gift? No, Linus deserves it. If someone's gonna get a gift, it's gotta be Linus. Down into the depths I go, and I will smack anyone who dares come near me. That's right, you just got smacked. It's not smacked, it's smacked. Well, no, it would suck if I can't pick up iron. If my pickaxe is too, too plebeian to get iron. Ooh, Omni G, ooh, very nice. That's that that to me that looks like rich person geode. I wonder, does Elon Musk have a musky odor? I mean, like th this these are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. What does Elon Musk sound, smell like? Like yes, we need to find the cure to cancer and we need to do all that stuff. But what does Elon Musk smell like? We should ask him. Is that that? I mean, that's just something that we need to find out. There's, that's one of the more important things in life to discover. You may think it's, you know, other stuff, but no, it's, 
finding out what Elon Musk smells like. Because you, you'd you think he smells fine, but, you know, his name suggests otherwise. His name suggests that he smells musky, but... Oh. Wonderful. This is... We're just going to have a monstrous time, aren't we? I, I don't want these dumb little thingies to hatch, but they do give me rice shoots. Which is pretty, pretty epic. I don't think that was a thing before. The last time that I played this game, there was not any rice shoots. So, that's pretty epic. I might actually plant these now that I have a butt ton of them. Sometimes I'll just go quiet for a little bit because I want to have mercy on my future self editing. <laughs> because if I just talk the whole time, then I have to pick and choose what to cut out. But if I do, do some nice silent times, then there, there's some pretty obvious places that I can cut out. The, of course, there are some scenarios where I keep in silent places, like, I don't know, boss fight or something like that. But when I'm just walking around mining, I don't need to keep in the silent parts of that. Because you guys don't really care about me mining that much. You just care about what I have to say, hopefully. I mean, I, I would hope that you care what I have to say. This whole area was a bust. If you don't care what I have to say, then why are you here? Of course, if you're here, then thank you. Um... <laughs> I'm lonely anyway, so. I can steal these torches. That is very nice. The best thing about mining is when one of the monsters opens up the way down. Ancient seed. What? Ah. It is something to donate. Cool. So basically, I don't need to worry about it. What would happen if I tried to plant Montezur ancient seed? Would it work? Who knows? I need to make a video advertising the fact that like, my Patreon exists and all that other stuff. Because I made one a while ago. But it was, like, pointless, basically. Because everything in it, all the benefits of my Patreon, were pretty much pointless. Because it was all just Discord stuff. Ooh. We get that. I'm going back up because I have plenty of stuff. And I want to go talk to Adventures Guild before they close. I think they're open. 10 p.m. I thought it said 12 p.m. That makes me angry. Angry. You hear me? You should be open for longer than that. I think I'm going to plant all my rice shoots. So then I can get rice. Rice is nice, you know? Rice is one of... You, ha you have normal foods, right? You got pizza. You got ice cream. And all, all these other things. You got these foods which are just staples of American culture. And then you got rice. Rice is great. It just tastes great. And I don't know why it tastes so good and it's just addicting. If we have a bunch of rice at home, you bet we're not going to have it for much longer because I, I'm eating it. If we have a pot of rice, it's not going to it's not going to stay around for much longer. <laughs> it's going to be I'm going to end it. Ooh, letter. I have a request for you. I need fresh cauliflower for Bet, all right, I got, I swear, this better count. You know, I'll put it, put it here. Two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, there we go, very nice. Wait, are these automatically watered? Do I have to water these? I don't think I have to water these. They look watered to me. They seem fine. It'd be great if they are. And I have another one right here. Okay. Wow! Yeah, it seems like they're doing just fine. Oh, iron. Excellent. Okay. Ooh. Dwarf gadget. What? Oh, I remember. I remember there was this whole thing with dwar dwarven stuff. We got ancient seed. Ooh. Ancient seeds, could these still grow? Ancient seeds recipe. Huh, I'm gonna have to look up when ancient seed 
or when you can grow ancient seeds. Because I don't want to set it down and it's like, well, sorry, you wrong season, dead. Need a new sword? No. What I do want, ooh, 100, nice. I just wanted to sell that. Where's Jody? I need to give her a cauliflower. Oh, hi. Oh, they look so delicious. Thank you. This is just what I wanted. I'm going to be perfect for my yellow curry. Excellent. Thank you for the money. I think everybody's gathering in one place for something. I don't know why. I just see everybody walking in one direction, and I don't like it. Or is everybody going over here to hang out or something? Or are you all just going to the bar? The bar's open. You know, let's go. Let's go to the saloon. It's not a bar. It's a saloon. Sorry. Hello. Marnie doesn't seem to notice you're there. I'm standing right in front of you, Marnie. How can you not notice me? Good evening. It's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk. It's good to stop by once in a while and see what the latest news is. Still doesn't notice me. Cool. Fresh air of this valley is good for the body and mind. Yes, it's wonderful. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. Alright, so you don't like having friends. Cool. Oi, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. Cool. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on Friday night. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. You met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. Cool. Rowan is a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. <laughs> Fun. Don't you have work to do? Go, Shane. I just want to be friends with people. Hmm, if I give the cue ball a bit of a topspin, maybe I could. Dot, dot, dot. Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. Wow, I just realized it's Friday. Yes, yes it is. No, I, why would I waste my money on such garbage? I'm ready to go home. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go to sleep. You know, had a nice, nice, nice day in this wonderful star valley of the star dews. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, but yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. Thank you all for watching. It's been a very fun, nice, great time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Don't know what else to say except thank you all for watching. And please donate to my Patreon so I can have stuff. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll <laughs> see you next time. Bye.